In this video, we're going to be talking about some reactions of, arom of aromatic compounds. Specifically, we're going to be talking about electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. These are known as EAS reactions for, sh for short. So let's break this down a little bit. These are going to be substitution reactions. We're going to be substituting one atom for another. Specifically, we will be substituting a hydrogen for something else. Aromatic means this is obviously happening on an aromatic ring. And electrophilic means we will be adding electrophiles to our aromatic ring. So it is a subst an electrophilic substitution reaction on an aromatic ring. Okay, so let's talk through some of these um, EAS reactions. The first thing I want to remind you is that aromatic compounds are very, very stable Right, aromatic compounds are extremely stable, so they can't undergo the regular reactions we've seen with alkenes, right? We know if you take an alkene and treat it with Cl2, you can get a halogenation reaction. But for aromatic compounds, we're not going to see a reaction if we just add Cl2. Our Cl2 is not electrophilic enough. So we need to boost up the electrophilicity of the reagents that we're adding, right? So to substitute an aromatic ring, we can't use the same reagents we used with alkenes, right? We really have to boost up the electrophilicity of our reagents, all right? So we're going to be learning sort of new reagents here to do these reactions. The first reaction we're going to talk about is halogenation. We're going to substitute a hydrogen atom for a halogen. To do that, we're going to add our halogen, Cl2 or Br2, and then we need to add a Lewis acid. So FeCl3 is a good Lewis acid. So Cl2 and FeCl3 will substitute a hydrogen for a chlorine. Br2 and FeCl3 will substitute a bromine for your hydrogen, okay? AlCl3 is another, is another Lewis acid you could use instead of FeCl3. And FeBr3 or AlCl3 can be used in place of FeCl3. They're all Lewis acids to make this reaction work. We will need to know the mechanism for this reaction, and we'll cover that in a separate video. All right, so we'll talk about the mechanism in a separate video. In this video, I just want to briefly go through the reactions. The second reaction we're going to talk about, the second EAS reaction, is a nitration reaction. We're going to be substituting a hydrogen with a nitro group, an NO2. And if we draw that structure out, right, we have a plus charge on our N and a minus charge on one of our oxygens. That's what the NO2 looks like. To do this reagents, the reagents we have to add are HNO3, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid, H2SO4. So you can see there's, uh, we're, we're uh, really amping up the amount of acids we have, so we're able to add an NO2 group. We do again need to know the mechanism for this, and we will cover that in a separate video. All right, and I just want to remind you here, I'm drawing the you know, here I put the NO2 group at the top, right? But remember, that can be in any position, right? So if we have the NO2 on the right or at the bottom or on the left, it's the exact same compound. These are the exact same compounds. They're just rotated by 60 degrees, okay? So we can really add the NO2 to any one of these carbons, right, when we start with benzene. It's the exact same compound no matter where you put the NO2 group. Our third reaction is a sulfonation reaction. Again, we start with benzene. Now we're going to treat this with SO3 and H2SO4, and that will add a sulfonate group here. Here I've drawn that out for you. Okay, this is benzene sulfonic acid. And for this reaction, there won't be a separate video. I'm not going to ask you the mechanism for this, right? So we won't have to 
know the mechanism, we won't go over it. But is it is important that we do, you know, know this reaction. We do have to know the reaction. Okay, just a couple more EAS reactions. The fourth one is called friedel crafts alkylation. Right, we're going to be alkylating our benzene ring. That means we're going to be adding an R group, an alkyl group. To do that, we're going to be adding an alkyl halide. I'm going to be adding an alkyl halide. Here I abbreviated that as RCL. That could be a bromine or an iodine or bromide or iodide as well. And again, we have to add our Lewis acid here. Right? And ALCL3 is, is the normal Lewis acid that's used. So you take your alkyl halide and ALCL3, and that will add an alkyl group to our benzene ring. So let's look at a few examples of this. Next, here we have a benzene ring. We treat this with um, bromoethane and ALCL3, and that will add an ethyl group here. Important to note, carbon A is connected to our bromine. There's carbon B. So A is then connected to the benzene ring. So here we've made ethyl benzene. Right, another example here on the next page. We have 2-bromopropane. A, B, C, we add our Lewis acid. So our benzene ring is now connected to carbon B where the bromine is. The bromine is gone. This carbon B is connected to our benzene ring. All right, this is Friedel Crafts alkylation. So we can do Friedel Crafts alkylation by using an alkyl halide plus ALCL3. So that's sort of the first method we can do it. But there's other ways to do friedel crafts alkylations. Method B is we're going to use an alkene and then a very strong acid. So if we look at this next reaction here, right, I have an alkene and I have H2SO4, okay? H2SO4 will protonate our alkene to form a carbocation, and then our benzene ring will attack that. All right, and we can get our compound here. Okay, so for both of these, for the alkyl halide and ALCL3, we'll need to know the mechanism. And then we'll also need to know the mechanism on how we do this with a alkene and strong acid. And again, we'll cover those in other videos. And then the third method here is we can actually take an alcohol plus a strong acid. And we can do a Friedel Crafts alkylation that way. So if I take an alcohol and a strong acid, we can do the same Friedel Crafts reaction and add our alkyl group that way, A, B, and C. And again, we'll need to know the mechanism for this reaction and we will cover it in another video. One important aspect of our Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction is that rearrangements can occur. So when we talk about this mechanism, or all three of these mechanisms for Friedel Crafts alkylation, we will see that we will form a carbocation intermediate. And any time we form a carbocation intermediate, it can rearrange. Okay, so if you look at this example here, we have carbon A, B, and C. We do Friedel-Craft alkylation. Now the 
connection is going to be to carbon B because we have a rearrangement that occurs. And we'll discuss this a little more when we talk about the mechanism. We'll do an example of a mechanism with a rearrangement. All right, so that was reaction four. So the fifth EAS reaction, and the last one we have to cover, is called Friedel Crafts acylation. This is an acylation. So here we're using an acyl group. We're adding an acyl group, which is a C double bond OR. So that's an acyl group. So this is an acylation because we're adding the C double bond OR. Basically, we're forming a ketone. So here we're going to take an acyl chloride or an acyl bromide. So we have our R group, C double bond O, Cl. Again, we have to use our Lewis acid. And now the benzene ring will substitute at the position of the carbonyl. And the chlorine is gone. Okay, so if we look at a specific example here, we have our benzene ring. We have our acyl chloride. I'll label my carbons A, B, C. We add our Lewis acid, ACL3, and our benzene ring is now forming a new bond to our carbonyl group, A, B, C. There's the new bond here, and we formed a, again, we formed a ketone. So this is our Friedel Crafts acylation reaction. What's nice about this reaction is there are no rearrangements with the Friedel Crafts acylation, okay? And again, we will cover the mechanism of this reaction in a separate video. All right. And I just want to note that anhydrides can work as well. So you can use anhydrides instead of acyl halides. Okay. So in here, you're only adding half the molecule, A and B. The sole half is gone, and you add A and B. Again, you use your Lewis acid. So anhydrides work as well. The last reaction is not an EAS reaction, but it's very useful when we're talking about Friedel Crafts acylation. So we can reduce our ketones to alkanes. So if you have an aromatic ketone, there's two ways to do this. You can treat this with a zinc mercury amalgam. So zinc, parentheses, mercury means you have an amalgam. Zinc, parentheses, mercury, and HCl, comma, HCl. Or you can use hydrogenation, H2 and palladium, or H2 nickel. So there's two ways to do this, either or. That will get rid of the C double bond O and replace that with two hydrogens. All right. And we'll see this is, again, not an EAS reaction, but it's useful to use after you use Friedel Craft acylation. Okay, so these are the basic five, these are the five reactions we need to, need to know. Halogenation, nitration, sulfonation, Friedel Craft's alkylation, right? Again, you can have rearrangements with Friedel Craft alkylation and Friedel-Craft acylation where there are no rearrangements.